channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here yes I'm doing another full makeup tutorial even though it is going into summer here in Australia and then it is hot like right now I am sweating my ass off right now but I do this for you because you guys requested it I have been getting requests from you guys asking me to do full makeup looks so here I am today to give you another one. If you haven't seen my previous one, I'll leave a link somewhere up here on the screen. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, I'm going to get started today with the face just because I have all of these cute little breakouts that have come to join me this week and I don't know why I'm breaking out. But I'm gonna firstly start off with the primer. So this is the Guerlain Radiance Pure Gold Concentrate Primer. My skin absolutely loves this primer. I feel like it's the gold that's in it. Like, I don't know, my skin just loves it. Plus it smells really good, so that is the main reason why I love applying it to my face, because it just smells amazing. For foundation, I'm gonna be using my all-time fave, the Wet n Wild Photo Breakers Foundation, and I just realized that I forgot my beauty blender, so give me one second. All right, we're back, we've got the beauty blender nice and damp. So like I was saying, I'm gonna be using this foundation today, the Wet n Wild Photo Breakers Foundation. My one that I'm using is in the shade Golden Beige, but this is kind of starting to become a little too light for me. I went out, sat by the pool one day for like half an hour and I managed to get a shade or two darker. I tan really easily when I'm out in the sun, so this foundation has started to become a little too light for me but we're just gonna work with it, see how it goes. So as you can see, I am just applying that to my face and then blending it in with the Dampened Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques. So I don't know if I was just tripping, but the foundation looks okay. So it doesn't look too light, but moving on to the darkness underneath my eyes. You guys already know, I'm gonna hit that with some of the Peach Corrector from LA Girl. Let me tell you that I've tried to like stop using peachy correctors and whatnot underneath my eyes because it's like it's so unnecessary I feel like you don't have to do it but it just like for me it makes such a difference because I have so much darkness going on underneath my eyes it really does help to brighten up the area so that is why I constantly color correct going in with concealer now I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium honey for today Team No Sleep over here has a lot of concealing to do. I don't know why, but I haven't been getting much sleep lately. I just can't sleep early, and that is probably what has resulted in all the breakouts that I've got going on in my chin. But anyways, concealer is definitely a must, and this one is super full coverage, really easy to apply, lightweight. So as you can see, I'm just applying that in all the areas that I want to conceal and highlight, and then I'm blending it in with the dampen sponge once again. Now to set all that concealer in place, I'm going in with the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder, and I'm just using the Real Techniques setting brush. I am just going to go ahead and pat this in all the areas where I placed that concealer just to make sure that everything is set in place and we don't experience any creasing throughout the day. As for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Photo Focus Powder from Wet n Wild. This one is in the shade Warm Beige and I'm just going to go ahead and press that into all the other areas that I have not yet set. I'm using the Sigma F30 Large Powder Brush. Now to get started on the eyes, I'm firstly gonna prime the lids with this NYX eyeshadow base. And I'm just using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush to apply that all over my lids right up to the brow bone. I'm also just gonna go ahead and quickly set that base in place with some translucent powder, and then we'll be ready to go for the eyeshadows. So for this look today, I'm going to be using all shadows from the one and only Jaclyn Hill palette. The first First shade that I'm gonna be using, if I can open this thing, is this one right here. This is Pukey. 
Kiki, I think that's how you say it. And I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. So as you can see, I'm running that through my crease. This is gonna act as my initial transitional crease shade. So I'm running it back and forth through the crease from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner of my eyes. So now that that first crease shade is down, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is Hunt. And again, I'm going to apply that to my crease. I'm just using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush but I'm not going to blow it out and as high as I did with that first peaky shade. I'm gonna smoke it out, but not as much. So pretty much doing the same motion. These eyeshadows are so intense. Like I keep dunking my brush in there thinking that like I need to, but a little goes a long way. Like this is so intense right now, but I'm done with that Hunt shade. Next up, I'm gonna go into this one right here. This is the one below it called Jax. It's kind of like a deep red maroon kind of shade, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my crease once more. I'm just using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. So this brush is a little smaller, so it won't bring the color out as much as it did with those previous shades. But it's really gonna help to define that crease area. So as you can see, once again, doing the same thing, running it back and forth through my crease, making sure that it's nice and blended all the way through. So now that everything is in my crease, it's at this point where I'll just like go through and just blend everything make sure it's all like married together nicely and that's the crease done so next up is the exciting bit and I'm so excited to use this color I'm pretty sure I've used this color in a previous tutorial but she's that good that we're gonna go into her again today so this color right here this foil gold shadow her name is Queen totally fitting I'm gonna take that shade and apply that to my lids. Now to give it the most intensity and pigmented color payoff, I'm going to go ahead and take it on my brush but then spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. This is really gonna amp it up and make sure that it's just popping on your lids. So I'm just applying that to my lids and I'm using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. Pretty much just putting it all over and blending it up into the crease, just a little. All right, so we've got that color on the lids and as you can see, I'm glowing, like I'm obsessed with that shade. But I'm gonna go back in with the Petite Crease Brush that I used to apply that red shade to my crease, which was called Jax. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend through the crease just to make sure that the gold, when it meets with the matte shadows in the crease, it's a little more seamless. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and darken up the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm gonna take this matte dark brown shade right here. This is called Central Park. And I'm just using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. So as you can see, I'm applying that to the outer corner of my eyes and then slightly dragging it inwards to blend into that gold queen shade that we have on the lids. Once again, I'm just going in and blending at the top edge of that dark shade just to make sure that everything is, you know, nice and seamless. I really smoked this look out today. Like I didn't intend to make it as like dramatic and blown out and smoky as I have, but I mean, I actually really like it. So now that that's done, I'm gonna get started on my bottom lash line. So I'm gonna go back into that orange shade right here. Once again, this is that shade Hunts, and I'm just using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. As you can see, I'm just running this along my bottom lash line and really smoking it out. That orange shade, man, is just like fiery hot right now, but I kinda wanna tone it down a little. So I'm gonna go back into the matte maroon shade. This is Jax. And I'm gonna go ahead and smoke that out along my bottom lash line as well, just to kinda, you know, bring it back down a notch because it's looking a little too fiery hot for me right now. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the color, but it just wasn't what I was going for. Okay, yes, I really like how that looks now. So, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into that Central Park shade. Again, running that along my bottom lash line, but keeping it much closer to the lashes to really help define that lash line a little more. Boom, boom, that is done, and I'm obsessed with how it looks. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do the inner corner and brow bone highlight Right now and you already know this shade right here beam is literally beaming like it is my favorite inner corner highlight shade ever so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to those areas and I'm just using the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader next up I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl and then I'm going in with a coat of the Jordana Best Lash Extreme volumizing mascara because I will be going in with falsies. I'm gonna be using these babies right here. So these are from House of Lashes. They're called the Noir Fairy Black. 
I believe. I have not used these before, but I'm trying to get out of my habit of always going for the Coco Lashes Queen Bees because you guys know that I always use them. So I'm kind of trying to branch out and try other lashes. So these are the pair that I'm going for today. I'm not even kidding you guys. Those lashes took me so long to apply just because they're like really, I don't know, the band is really stiff and they just weren't sticking but we got the job done and I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face now. I'm firstly gonna contour with this baby right here. This is the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette and I'm just gonna go ahead and take this shade right here and use that to contour my jaw and my cheekbones and also my nose. So the brush that I'm using is just a Models Prefer Contour Brush and the one that I'm using for my nose is from Look Good Feel Better and it's essentially just an eyeshadow brush but it is the perfect shape and the bristles work amazingly when it comes to contouring my nose. So that's what I like to use for that. Next up, I'm gonna bronze up my face a little. So I have here the Bahama Mama Bronzer from The Balm. And I'm just using the Sigma F40 Large Angles Contour Brush to go ahead and apply it to my face. So I pretty much just like to apply this over my cheeks and around the perimeters of my face just to give myself a little bit more color because with all that foundation and stuff that we got going on, I need to add some color back into my face. I honestly feel like bronzer like makes the biggest difference. Like my face looks so different with the bronzer applied. But now that that's on, I'm gonna apply some blush. So I have here the Morphe 9N blush palette. And I think I wanna take this shade down here, I think. Or maybe that might be a little bit too intense actually. Yeah, I changed my mind. I'm gonna take this shade here. It's a bit more neutral in tone. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that as my blush. So I'm just using the Real Techniques Blush Brush. I always have such a hard time saying those two words together. But as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the apples on my cheeks and drag it back towards my hairline. Now for highlighter, I'm gonna use this one from Laura Mercier. This is Indiscretion. And when I look at this pan, guys, like, does that not wanna make you just dive in like it reminds me of silk bed sheets i don't know if it's just me but every time i look at it that is exactly what i see so i'm going to go ahead and highlight my face with this i'm just using the anastasia beverly hills a23 highlighter brush and i'm going to go ahead and apply that in all the usual areas you guys who watch me regularly know that i love a bomb ass popping highlight like highlight is my thing you guys can probably see but i have like this tiny little like pimple here and I highlighted it because it wants to be a part of it, so it's gonna be a part of it. <laughs> Anyways, now that the highlight's on, I'm gonna move on to the lips. So I'm firstly going to line the lips. I'm using the Models Prefer Infinite Color Lip Liner in Infinite Spice. Now for the actual lip color, you guys know that I would most typically wear a nude lip with this look, but I'm switching things up and I'm gonna be using this color right here. So this is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Brick. And I don't know how to describe this shade, like it's, it's not red, but it's not brown. It's kind of like an in-between shade. I mean, the name kind of explains it. It is a brick color. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with today. Keep everything matchy matchy so my lips match my eyes and everything is nice and monochromatic. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. I'm obsessed with it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed, subscribe. Hit that little red button down below so you don't miss any more videos that I post. Also, I will leave everything that I used in the video down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or Snapchat, I'm literally on Snapchat every single day. Snapchat fam knows all, just saying. So if you want to add me on there, you can find all that good stuff down below. But with that being said, I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.